Silly, and today I'm going to be doing a life update. I don't know about you, but usually when I watch life updates, they're kind of about serious things, but it's not the case for this one. I'm making this video because I feel like I owe it to you guys an explanation as to why I've been gone for so long and why I just haven't been really active here and on Instagram. And just to make it long story short, basically school. This year I'm taking a lot of hard classes and I knew it was going to be hard but at the same time I still didn't expect it to be this hard. I know that sounds weird but it's almost like you couldn't prepare for it. Um, I'm taking AP history and it's just a lot of work. I'm also taking two maths and two languages and honors English and on top of that I figure skate like two hours every day. Just kidding, five days a week but that's still a lot. I skate about like 10 to 11 maybe 12 hours a week depending on the week so I'm really busy and I went to my first regionals for figure skating there was just a lot of training involved for me to be there and also I had a lot of schoolwork and what I have right now with reading I will call it a reading slump but I know for a fact that I just haven't been reading because I haven't had the time to read like I really want to read I just though the books in my room but I just started Empire Storms like Tuesday I think it's Saturday for me right now and Tuesday was the only day I got to read it. I got to read for around like two hours and got in 34 pages and I haven't gone back to it since because I had school. And I'm super excited because right now I have a chance to film for you guys. It is dark out. Usually I don't like to film with these lights on because it makes me look yellowy orange and I hate that kind of lighting. But obviously now that the time has changed, it gets darker way quicker. Um, but I just didn't want to pass up this opportunity because I had Friday off. So yeah, that's pretty much it with this life update that I wanted just to inform you guys that I have been gone because of schoolwork. Um, I really don't know if this year, I know that sounds incredibly long but I don't know if this year I will be able to keep a consistent schedule and I'm not even sure about next year because junior year is going to be super hard and I bet senior year I can probably keep a pretty consistent schedule and I don't know about college either. I don't know how those YouTubers do it. But yeah, other than that, I really don't have anything else. But what I did want to do is I skipped out on my October monthly book haul wrap up TBR and because of Thanksgiving, I don't think I'm going to be doing it for November because I'm going to be going away and plus I bet schoolwork's going to get in the way. So to make up for the losses of two monthly whatevers, I'm going to do a book haul. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I did start reorganizing because I have so many books, but then I realized that I do have extra books. So I'm just going to wait until after the book haul to reorganize. I'm like pretty sure soon I'm going to need a third bookshelf, but I really don't have any room because there's a treadmill over here. But anyways, let's get on with the book haul. First book is a book that I should have done a mystery unboxing on, but again, didn't have time. And that is... A Million Worlds With You by Claudia Gray. And this is the third book in this, was it Firebird something? Firebird series trilogy thing. So the first two books are A Thousand Pieces of You and Ten Thousand Skies Above You. This is the third book, um, and I pretty much want this series because the covers are life. It also sounds really cool. I think it's about, not time travel, but like dimension travel, if that's a thing. But they can hop between dimensions and you get to see like different versions of you. Next is Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. And he's one of the authors of Illuminae and Gemini, Gem Gemini. <clears throat> But I heard that this book is amazing and I think it's about assassins and I love assassins. I just realized that the cover looks like this. The, I really don't want to refocus it later so sorry guys but it's like a girl holding a knife and it's bloody and I love it because I love assassins. But I feel like there's another book that I keep confusing this one with and I just don't know what it is. Maybe I'm hallucinating. Moving on, we have Daughter of Deep Silence by Kerry Ryan. Next is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. And got this because the amazing. And second reason is that I already have the second book because I got it for super cheap at Book Outlet. And the third book's coming out, so duh, uh, yeah, I need it. <laughs> And another one is also a book that I should have done a mystery unboxing for, and that is A Shadow Bright and Burning by Jessica Clewis. That's a cool last name. And one cover, 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 cover. Two, I just remember needing to read it. <gasps> 
semi distress pages guys semi distress pages and lastly we have the thousandth floor by Catherine McGee the higher you are the farther you fall oh I love that well, look at this the sign guys I didn't even realize but this is in a white, black, black, white order. So that's all I have for the book haul part. I really hope that I can keep posting as much as possible for you guys. And stay tuned on my channel because I may or may not be doing a bookshelf tour, like, hint, hint, very, very soon. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and have a great day, afternoon, wherever you are. Bye! And today I'm going to be doing my spectacular September book haul plus wrap up plus TBR. Book haul. For wrap up, I sadly only have one. I'm going to try to be super realistic with my TBR. And today I'm going to be doing the 12th episode of Mystery Unboxing. Look at this and look at that. I love this color.